playing peekaboo. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Mark I mean, just car. look at it. Yeah. I mean, just get a look at that. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at that? going on everybody y'all are having a good one never mind that annoying screaming bird in the background i tried to get it to shut up but no luck so this is at least so far bronco 2.0 i've still got a good bit of detail work and a little bit of fine tuning on a couple things but the majority of it's done and I wanted to bring it out and uh, see what happens, I guess. So, uh, you've seen previous videos on this thing. It was pretty rough when I got it. I'm still far from perfect by any means, but uh, it's, damn near a whole nother rig at this point <clears throat> so i guess uh we'll run through everything that i've done up to this point um, front bumper lights um wheels and tires uh took the straight axles out and put a set of uh, 10 3 portals in here um, mainly because I already had a bunch of brass on these axles and this thing definitely needed some weight down low with as heavy as the body already was and it's going to get even heavier the more scale stuff that I put in it um, it already had the metal sliders on it and still rocking the factory plastic rear bumper got some desert lizard 90 mil shocks got a hobby wing fusion pro 2300 uh, three brothers g13 pro steering servo uh, running it on my fly sky system the headlights, tail lights, and running lights in the body are on the same switch as the, all the lights in the front bumper. And then whoop, I've got some uh, rock lights that are on a separate switch. Um, the dig servo was burnt out when I got this thing. I thought that I had uh, another micro servo. I do but uh, apparently the dig servo in this thing is uh, just a little bit smaller than the micro servo that I got so probably not going to get that fixed or the two speed until uh, after axial fest at this point um, the front axle already had some overdrive gears in the portal box so I threw another set of overdrive gears in the rear, get a little bit more uh, 
wheel speed out of it. Since it's a trail truck, I'm not looking for performance and having that much overdrive running trails for long periods of time just didn't sound like a whole lot of fun. Uh, I tore the body completely apart and uh, it was the white and blue. Now it's the that fiery orange that I've been using for a lot of trucks here recently. Uh, the cage, I used that green copper uh, color changing paint. Just a little bit of something different. Uh, turned out way more green than it did on the roll bar on my wrecker. So, I don't know, this thing looks a little goofy at some angles. Um, I need to revisit my cowl hood piece. Uh, tape's not quite sticking on the front and the back as much as uh, I would like. So there's a little bit of a uh, gap there. It's not really anything crucial. It's not going anywhere, but it's just enough to bug me and apparently just enough for grass to get stuck in. Um, tried something new, kind of worked, kind of didn't. You can kind of see the windshield. Uh, I, when I had it taped off for paint, I uh, kind of outlined where the windshield wiper pattern would be and uh, cut the tape there and then kind of messed, scuffed up the outer portions of it. Kind of hard to see on camera but it's pretty plain as day in person but apparently i'm a little heavy-handed with the knife because uh well i got into the lexan a good little bit there when i cut that out but it is what it is uh painted the seats they turned out way brighter silver than what i thought they was going to so they're kind of sticking out like a sore thumb but Again, it is what it is. I got uh, Wolverine driving for now. Originally, I was going to do this thing red and have Deadpool as the driver, but the Deadpool that I ended up with was like Chinese knockoff, just looked goofier than hell. Um, so, yeah, had to switch that up. Got a couple scale accessories in here uh, figure out what else i'm going to fill this bed out with i think that's about it um yeah just gonna give it a little run out here today uh, something else i need to do is finish trimming up these uh fender flares i had to trim them out when i put these wheels and tires on it so they got angles cut out in them. And uh, I think there's only three mounting points on the front ones now. So this back section here, I think the lowest mounting points like clear up here. So it's kind of starting to flare out a little bit. So I need to do some trim in there. I still haven't put any uh, limiting straps in the front. We'll see how it does uh, once I get all of the weight in this thing uh, before I start tinkering around with the suspension. But since this thing is painted on the outside, I'm going to do my best not to get too carried away and trash it. I would like it to look as decent as possible, uh, at least the day that I arrive at Axial Fest and then it's gonna just get trashed from there so but yeah I'm digging it um, it's it's a whole new animal that's for sure we'll uh, take this thing out and about for a little run here in the pit we'll hit a few rocks uh, 
the groundhogs have been having standoff with me up there so i don't know how far up there we're gonna get today could just it would be my luck i would get get the damn bronco up there and they'd come out and start thrashing on it or something but if we uh don't stick around up here too awful long i may go ahead and go on back to the backwoods and uh we'll run it down through the trail down there as well and see what happens bronco 2.0 looking good and i did end up getting uh another servo horn uh, the one i was having to run when i put this servo in here was the plastic one that comes with it and that's just no good uh, i also got a uh adjustable little steering link i don't know be able to see it at this angle but, so with those two items i was able to uh readjust my steering and i've got a good bit more steering angle now it's kind of an issue with the previous setup that really short servo horn and the offset that it had uh, didn't have a whole lot of room up in there if you've ever messed around with any of the 10 threes you'll know that that uh servo horn to pan hard mount and chassis that whole intersection right there it's not a whole lot of room for uh throw on the steering so i think on the base camp i ended up uh ground out part of the c channel to make some extra room a little more attention to detail with the actual steering components and i've got this thing to where it'll go maybe half a mil away from lock to lock on the axle so that's good enough for me really wanted to get that two speed figured out in this thing get a little bit more wheel speed in it for the trails uh, but that micro servo situation was uh, kind of a drag but with that fusion pro uh, overdrive in the front and the rear axles and uh, I believe it was an 18 tooth pinion was the biggest I could go uh, with the stock motor mount. Uh, it's It's got enough to get the job done. I'd still like a little bit more, but that's uh, kind of a six one way, half a dozen the other. It's top heavy as this thing is. I think if I had any more wheel speed, it'd be uh, in danger of a lot more rollovers than what I currently am. I also have not vented the tires yet either. Uh, that's something else that I need to do. Just uh, wanted to see how they was gonna do with all the weight on here with the silicone inserts that are in them. I've got some tires that work great with this kind of a setup and not being vented and then other tires obviously work way better when they're vented so i think we may end up having to vent these ones they're still a little on the stiff side
remember if I had said anything about it at the beginning, but I did end up doing a little bit of chrome work on the grill and the window trim on the windshield. Nothing big, just a little small detail. I think that especially on the on the grill, I'd uh, really made that front end look a little bit more appropriate instead of just being completely blacked out. Yeah, even with no uh, overdrive, well, no overdrive in just the front, it still made the, uh, made the spiral staircase without having to turn around and come back. That's pretty good. Fix the slats in the bridge. Seems like every time I fix them, the cows come out here and rub on it. Get them all cattywampus again. Look at that belly clearance. <laughs> I was originally thinking this thing would uh, end up being kind of like a trail basher, but uh, the more I'm watching it do the slow scale-ish kind of crawling around, trailing around. I'm really digging it, so I don't know how much bashing I'm going to do with this thing. I'm sure it's still going to get tore up pretty good over there at Badlands. But I don't know that I'm just going to go buck wild with it kind of like to keep this thing somewhat looking good. So when I painted it, I did that fiery orange, kind of like a burnt orange color, but it's got a lot of flake in it. Uh, pretty glossy and a lot of sparkle in the sunlight. So I put, uh, satin clear over top of the whole thing and man i just really like that combination the same thing i did on uh the rock hawk c2 rig that i built a while back that actually had uh, these axles in it um well this rear axle and the guts and the portal boxes off of this front axle. Um, I've switched these things around so much. Um, I've got another set of, uh, or another housing and uh, axle shafts so I can switch this front axle between the 10-3 width and uh, Capra, depending on which uh, style or which uh, width I'm wanting to go for, for whatever particular build that it's going in. I think I've also got enough to switch the rear axle between the 10.3 and the Capra as well. But that rear axles, uh, the housings, one of those cheaper Chinese metal axles. Not really a big fan. They lasted a while on the Wraith when I had it set up with the knockoff Capra portals. But 
ended up breaking the front knuckle on it. I actually got to see the granular structure of the metal that's in there and man, them things are cheap. Ooh. Got a little bit offline over there and found a couple holes simultaneously. Still offline. Need to be farther to the left. No, well, maybe not. <laughs> Apparently that was just about spot on. Got a little critter trying to come out here. I don't know if it's a chipmunk or a mouse. Anyways, I think uh, I think that'll do it for the pit. She's doing well. Like I said, I need to get these uh, fender flares trimmed out a bit more. Uh, they're not rubbing, which is kind of surprising. I thought I'd have to trim more. For clearance but I just need to trim some more off uh, just so that they're not kind of flared out away from the body um, do that I really need to try to get that uh, cow piece sucked down a little bit more like I said it's it's not bad but it's bad enough that it bugs me. I think it looks a little bit worse in person than it does on camera, at least what I can see on my phone here. But um, other than that, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna put any uh, limit straps on the front of this thing. It's doing really well. Um, yeah, we'll see see what it does once I get uh, get some more weight thrown in here. I'll probably end up with a co-pilot, and then I've got an awful lot of space uh, to figure something out back here. That's just a lot of dead space. I feel like it needs needs something. We'll get that figured out, and then uh, vent the tires. That might be it. She might be close to uh, legitimately being done here. So, anyways, if you got any opinions, let me know. Um, I may end up going on another little trail run out in the backwoods. If so, I may throw a couple clips in. But if not, we'll call it here. So, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, you uh, like what I've done with the Bronco here. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one. I'm sure I'll have at least one more video before Badlands. I think I've still got another weekend worth of uh, getting other rigs ready. So... 
probably do some sort of a fleet update video once I get everything else fixed and ready to go. I've just been focused solely on this one for a good little bit now. But I'm rambling. Hope y'all have a good one. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.